Welcome, my name is Konstantin Magnus and in this tutorial we are going to create our own custom cartoon shader inside of Exodini. So let's start off with a geometry container, call it Mesh, dive inside and choose a squab just for testing. We will deactivate its own shader and create a new camera. In the material context, we just type in material to get a material builder and rename this to cartoon. We will only need, or well, we're not going to need the displacement nodes and also here we will just use a bind export to output a emission color so you have to type in CE for color emission and set this to vector. Now in order to get a simple cell shading we can use the Lambertian shading and just grab its color and take the luminance out of this. So the luminance would be a simple black and white gradient and we will convert this inside a ramp parameter which can give us or gives us the freedom to pick any color we like from it. I feed this into the bind export and as soon as we create a render node I choose mantra PBR although we don't use its features, we should be able to just get a rendering from that. I turned off the preview mode because I wanted uh, to see it right away in full quality. Now, in case we don't see anything, we need to assign the cartoon shader onto our mesh. That's the one and you can just make sure it has been uh, assigned by going to the render tab and check the material cartoon is applied to our mesh. Now of course um, let's just lock the camera so we can move it with us and you will see that this is a very normal shading so far but this is about to change as soon as we go on top of our shader and turn these colors into constant like this. Now we can define a base color and maybe a darker variant of the very same color by just increasing its brightness, uh, excuse me, decreasing its brightness and also define a core shadow even left from that. It can stay all the way there but should be darker. Now let's additionally define a highlight which we can just set to white for now and in order to make these colors really work we should create a light source in object context and I put it right above and maybe slightly next to our creature. Now in order to use the full color range you should increase the intensity depending on the distance of course and this seems to be working rather nicely. Now back to our cartoon shader we should also implement an outline and this outline can be created by using the direction from eye to surface and we will normalize this right away because the camera can be further away and we will negate this to get the inverted direction. Now let's compare this with the surface normals by using a dot product. So we just grab the normal, feed it into the dot and to just quickly visualize what it does we could convert this from float to vector and feed this vector into CE. So that way you see a gradient from red to dark on the edges. 
I uh, this delete the float to back for now and just use a compare and it's not going to work right away so I can just disconnect it by pressing Y and dragging my mouse over it. What we will do is we will compare the output of the dot product with um, a compare node less than a custom value and we're going to create a parameter for that and call this outline thickness. Let's name the label accordingly and just connect it here. Now we will not feed this directly into the bind node but first of all convert this from integer you can tell by the blue color to a float value again and then use this to mix between both colors the color from our RAM parameter that is for the, uh, stands for the surface and the secondary color will come from another parameter which we just call outline underscore color we will set its type to color and we can leave it black for now and we'll just feed it in as the secondary color. The float value coming from our dot product will be used as bias and now we should be good to go to feed this into the CE value again. Let's go up and play with the outline thickness a little. So the more you give it the thicker it gets. And in order to see this better I will also give the whole scene a background, so in object context we just choose an environment light and activate the option to render light geometry. I give this a nice, nice gray color and now of course I don't want this to illuminate the surface, so what we'll do is we go to the light linker. If you don't have it, just click on the plus and look for it. It says light linker and now we just open this up, choose the environment light and disable um, the mesh here so it's not using or it's not putting light on it. Now let's go back to our shader and just play around with those settings. Alright, while playing I set the outline color to red dial in the thickness a bit and um, then when you define a render resolution I choose 4K I notice that this looks a bit edgy um, due to the render resolution and because render polygonous um, or subdivision at render time is not supported in this case we would just create a subdivision node inside the network, set its depth to 2 and we should be good to go.